Hi, I'm here to show an interesting sound that I made in Razor that I can only describe as an alien upright piano. And it's actually not as complicated of a sound as you might think. So let's start by going to the initial sound. Make it poly, max amount of voices, turn the glide all the way down to zero, turn the auto off, and turn the low pass filter off. Our first oscillator is going to be a numbered pitch bend, and so is our second one for that matter, but we'll get to that later. Turn the P-offs all the way down to zero, and let's see, turn the color down to make it softer to about negative four. All right, now we're going to deal with the second oscillator. We want a bit of this sound and a bit of this sound at the same time but more of the higher one. So right around there. Next, we're gonna move to our filters. The filter one isn't gonna do a ton, but you'll see where it makes a difference later. It's going to be a low pass dirty filter. Leave the cutoff where it is. Move the res up to about 58. And move the stretch almost all the way down, but not quite. For the second filter, it's going to be unisono noise. Move the amount down to, let's say 63, and move the speed up to about 63 as well. Actually, no, the, the speed moved down to a Yeah, somewhere about negative 70 between negative 60. Now here's the one that's really going to make it sound like the upright piano. In the dissonance effects, pick stiff string. And put it to about 55. Next, we're going to go into our stereo effects and pick Resonant Reverb. Move the decay down a bit. Move the cutoff slightly up. And I want it to be really damp, so let's move the dampness to about uh, 0 0.75. That's a pretty good sound. All right, so now to mess with the ADSR. Attack, leave where it is. Delay, move up a little bit. Sustain, take most of the way out, maybe to 0 0.25. And release, move up a little bit to about 53. And that's pretty much it. You can also detune it a little bit to give it a bit more flavor. And you may have noticed it was getting clippy and loud, so putting a compressor wouldn't hurt. Hmm. 
Maybe if I make this softer, that'll change something. And there we go, we have an interesting, alien-ish, upright piano sound. So thank you for watching, and if you found this useful, I would really appreciate it if you would check out my Bandcamp and my SoundCloud accounts. Also, liking and subscribing to my channel would be fantastic so you could keep up with my future tutorials. So I hope you found this useful, and have a great day.